Good morning, folks. We've got space weather looking ahead and an earthquake warning. The tropics have gotten active in numerous regions, and there's something Electric Universe folks will be discussing for ages. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star. We've got no sunspots, no solar flares. The bright incoming active area has no umbra beneath those fields. We've got calm solar wind as well with ones and twos on the KP index. And the real story looks ahead to solar wind effects from the coronal holes. That should be the kind of space weather we endure for a while here as we take a three-day lull in earthquakes as well. One has to eye that southern opening, getting ready to connect magnetically with Earth, knowing that this breather from seismicity is going to be short-lived. Up next, GO-16, overnight continental display with a lightning line that was both gorgeous and severe as you look up towards the Midwest. Only a bit came through the valley yesterday. Lightning tried to keep its distance best it could. It is raining here this morning as we close our second month above average rainfall in a row here in New Mexico. Let's look at the tropics because in the wake of that KP7 event, the waters are going nuts. None of the new Atlantic developments are going to impact in the next week, but did you spot what's happening in the Gulf? The system just southeast of Florida is going to run over its southern tip and then head for New Orleans, then shifting to the Harvey positions thereafter. Eyes on it. We already mentioned that system next approaching Hawaii is going to miss north. Well, the one after that is still a ways out, but it's forecast to take a much scarier track in. Last but not least, the storm that formed step in time with the solar event and descending energy through the ionosphere and atmosphere is now Super Typhoon Jebby. It's going to whack Japan here in the next week, and by then hopefully it's not the monster providing these incredible shots here. We've got two great articles today. First, we're finding the signature of two baby stars, outshone and outseen by their older brethren all around them. The returns here without any visible light point suggest that these stars have begun their light-up process, just haven't quite crossed that finish line just yet. And is that a space lighthouse above it? Looks like dust clouds carved out by the bright core of that area. And as we're looking at interesting things, today's top story comes from Hubble. In a shot they claim was serendipitous, meaning they accidentally got a shot of it, they claim nobody studies this odd nebulous feature, but I bet that's about to change. What they call a boomerang shape isn't necessarily wrong, it just fails to truly capture the nature of the image. This is borderline impossible, and were you to describe this to me without the photo, I wouldn't believe you. Folks, let's get thinking in the comment section today. Always could use the like button as well. And folks, I am not going to put the last 80 books up at a different price than they've been all month. You guys got nearly all of the pre-orders, and so we're going to have to get some more books. Details on that in the coming days, but for now, just know... Not going to change that price here for the last few books, just 24 hours after the official pre-order period. Just take them all, folks. This is my only chance to get it to you cheap. We've got our podcast coming up on the website here in a few hours. There's a new Top Science News recap out last night on YouTube. And we've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. and We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.